Hello, this is Daryl Mart with ApexInvesting.com, and today we're talking about one of the ticket types. We have seven ticket types on the free scanner, available again only at ApexInvesting.com, where you can do things like limit orders with an edge on Nadex, you can do stop orders, you can do trailing stop orders, you can do one cancels other where you have a profit and a stop loss. Uh, you can do trailing stops where you have a profit, stop, loss, stop, and it trails when you want it to. You can do a first triggers OCO, and you can do a first triggers trailing stop. So today we're going to talk about first triggers trailing stop orders on this short video for you. Make sure to share it with your friends, and let's check it out. So let's go in and let's look at the NASDAQ, and let's say we just think that the market is going to go down. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the ticket icon. And you'll notice over here we got bid and offer size. Let's say we just want to change that size to one. Okay. And we're going to say first triggers trailing stop. So we're going to say we wanted to trigger off. It gets down to 80 to 14. And then we're going to say we want the loss. Uh, we'll say the market is sitting at 80 to, we'll just say 18. And I'm just basing this on the market being in a downtrend. You know, this is not really a technical trade. It's just for example purposes. And then I'm going to start um, trailing. Let's see here. Actually, we don't set a take profit. So if it gets down to 82.10, down there around where we have a support level, uh, we'll get on in. And then let's start trailing at 82.10. 12 and I'll say you know just trail it by 10 bucks okay so what's gonna happen is if the market drops below 8214 then it's gonna get us in the trade and so the indicative right now is 8214 and then it's going to get us out of the trade if it goes up against us to 8218 it'll get us out of the trade if it goes down in our favor to 8210 but at 82.12, what it's going to do is it's going to start trailing the stop by 10 ticks. It'll start all of this after it gets us in the trade. So I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, we went ahead and our entry was triggered. It got us in when it dropped below 82.14. It's 82.13.9 right now. So now what's happening is it's actually waiting on the market to trigger the price. Again, it'll... Get us out if the market goes against us to 82.18. It'll get us out if the market gets all the way down to our take profit trigger of 82.10. But if it gets down to 82.12, it'll start trailing at $10 behind us. So that way it starts to lock in, you know, or lower our risk and eventually lock in some of the profit on the way to our profit target. Now, you don't have to enter a profit target. So that is optional. Um, by the way, if you do want to edit it after the order has been submitted then you can just cancel and close this and open up an OCO ticket so you open up an OCO ticket over here by clicking this and then just clicking OCO and then you can do a one cancels other so if you don't know what that is make sure to check that out but we decided to go ahead and do four contracts on this one make it a little more fun and uh, but Again, if you do want to cancel it, you got to cancel edit before it got triggered. Otherwise, you just got to go open an OCO, or if, or you can also do a trailing stop. So since we're doing a trailing stop right now, so one thing I want you to notice right now is that the stop loss price is eighty to eighteen. Okay, so we're in the trade; it's moving down some in our favor, and let's see how it goes. And then in this case, it trailed down and it actually triggered our stop, got us out of the trade on the trailing stop. And so um, helping us not take the full stop on the trade in this case. So it can trail for you. It can um, have an initial stop. It can also have a take profit all while setting your entry up first and letting the rest run out. So if you have any questions on this, please let us know. Um, you can ask us if you're an elite member in the elite room or if you bought one of our courses inside one of the course rooms. Um, also, you know, feel free to share us on Facebook or ask any questions in the help desk and we'll be happy to help you out. All right. Y'all have a great day.